Hi everybody, this is Toby, the guy who is sharing his knowledge in open foam and computational fluid dynamics. Welcome to the part two of the Rock Vapor Classic. As you can see, something changed in this training video. As you can see my face either in this corner or in this corner, I am not sure, but I hope that this will maybe sometimes help you to get a bit more focused um, because I had the feeling the last few weeks when I was watching videos for getting new knowledge that if there is a guy in front or somewhere on the screencast where I can look at when he is like talking just nonsense or without any uh, motion on the screen um, I can get more f or I am more focused on the, the duration of this screencast. So please leave a comment below if you think this is uh, worse to keep or if you say, sorry, Toby, this is too much, just to use a, a piece of white paper and yeah, put it below and yeah, um, maybe, uh, yeah. I will check it out, you will give me feedback and now let's go on and talk about fluid region extraction. I want to show you how I'm using Salome for getting the representative fluid structure or the representative surface which is needed for numerical investigations. Let's start as already 1 minute and 50 seconds passed and ah, too much. Okay, we go into our directory and what we have inside, actually nothing. We only have the step file we downloaded previously. If you don't know where to get this step file, check out the first video of this training series and there you will find the link and also the cat file. So I start Salome. It is version 9.4, 9.4 because I have problems with 9.5 right now. Uh, the reason is because the module I'm using here, this geometry module is depreciated and they put all this functional functionality into the shape module, which is very, very good. Thank you for this contribution to the community. Um, not only open form, I'm talking about the open source community here uh, because this shape module here is, I believe, much, much better and interesting than the geometry model. However, if you are working for 10 years with uh, this model, you get familiar with the things and how Salome works in this particular area and you are getting fast in creating things and building things. Okay, what we are going to do in this training session is to take out all these internal faces here, which are bounding the fluid, the air is going inside here, and it's going into this channel system and then are going out here. So all of these, the surfaces, which is like um, leading the, the fluid or all surfaces which uh, does not let the fluid pass through need to be extracted and commonly i'm doing it in the geometry module i go to create groups select here these faces and then you can start selecting faces while i'm doing this i press shift otherwise your selection gets lost so this is getting a very stupid work because you have to select all these things and after you selected a few faces click add and then hide them to see which you were missing while clicking on hide you also can look further and go into this internal um, system click add and hide them so then we will hide some faces here. We will add this pipe system. 
we add them, we hide them, we add them, we hide them. So you see it's very boring. And we hide this particular area to see, okay, this we need um, while pressing. So if this uh, interaction button is pressed, you have to press control for getting like um, a span box for selecting. So no, no, no. Okay. And while pressing shift, you can add selection or remove selections. So done. Control A while clicking here into one, select one, control A for select everything. So very intuitive. Show only selected. Now we have this part done. First thing is done. However, this part is not good for a numerical investigation. You can imagine because it's not closed. So we have a gap here. We have a hole here. We need like a face here and a face here, which is like the boundaries of our fluid domain. So then we just simply will do that. I will show you several approaches. So first approach is clicking here on explode. Explode will yeah, make new objects out of your object. So actually exploding. So you select the object you want to work on and you select uh, sub shapes and then you can select these sub shapes here we selected edges and then we create two new edges which we can now use to create a new face and done the first part is done you also can go to suppress holes and then you say okay please use these two lines so these wires and create and fill this with a face done However, be aware that this algorithm is not always working perfect. Just use these suppress holes with this small hole and then you will see what you get out of that. Just problems. Okay, first thing is done. We will further merge these two parts. So this small with uh, this small face with this uh, larger face. Therefore, I use fuse. Fuse in is different than uh, build a compound because compounding means that you put your objects into another larger object, like in a, to a container. Fusing is really if there are points connected, you merge them and you only have one left. Okay. Of course, you have to uh, select two things. I always keep pressing control applying close. This is a common error message that the algorithm detects itself intersections, which are probably here at the bottom. Therefore, you can just deselect it. However, you have to consider these things later on. As you saw, the surface changed its color, so the surface normal changed its colors though so they are pointing outwards now which means um, that everything what is inside here is like inside and the rest is outside as a comparison here it was darker and this is now lighter okay this is done the next part is let's investigate into this part, bottom part what i'm doing is i create a new group and I select everything. So first I select uh, the faces and I select everything. So all the faces are selected now. And I, I'm going to hide these faces to see what's going inside. Okay, this is how it looks like. The first thing I don't like is that this face here is lying on top of this face. You can see it here. Or maybe there's a small gap probably um, but I don't like it actually so what I'm going to do is I remove 
the whole thing. So first I press hide, then I then I remove them. Try the other way around and you will see uh, the differences. So while hiding them, they are still selected and you can remove them. Okay, then uh, this part, we don't need this part. What is this? A single face. Hide them. Okay, looks good. Remove them. Okay, now you can see the fluid does not have this obstacle anymore inside this pipe system. So if you have here like someone who is breathing in, the air is going here through this hole and yeah, are passing this bottom channel. This is fine for us. Um, after that, uh, manipulation, click apply and close, we get a new group, which does not contain this obstacle here anymore. Closing this is, I will just show you the trick. As this is aligned with the set axis, so it's like in the middle of the so center line. If, yeah, don't know, Toby is just talking shit. So I just show you, we are creating a new face like this, which is this, the normal is the X, the X normal vector and we make it a bit bigger and what I'm doing is you use this group 2 you make partition and you use this plane and you partition it what you get is like these new lines here um, which is now needed especially this point so again previously this line was missing and now this line is there and we need this point we go to explode again and we make edge and select these two edges done and then we can extrude these two edges not within a vector with two points we say from from this point to that point fine perfect as you can see here, the, the color is still different. So this is the surface normal vectors are pointing in different directions. We are fusing these three again. Now we should get no problem with detect self intersections because there are no self intersections anymore. And you see the color changed. And even here, Salome realized this is one st straight single pipe it made uh, the connection and removed here these features. The last point is closing this outlet part or inlet, whatever you are looking at, um, the perspective. However, you see there is some small gap. You can now check out if in the big file if there is some some small line probably it is this line we were missing and this line and you can now explode them and then put them in action to fuse it with this however this will give like a very small and tiny straight area planar area which i don't like here and i want to show you the sewing algorithm, which is very powerful. Using the sewing algorithm, first um, you have to say which uh, geometry you want to analyze. So you are saying, please check my geometry and it will detect three surfaces which are not closed. And now using this tolerance value, you can say in yeah the tolerance i don't know about or on which object or edge this tolerance is applied so i don't know the value but if you are using it it checks the distance between vertexes for example and if they are within this tolerance 
they get merged and suit up. So playing around with the tolerance parameter is needed. So commonly it's a 1.7, which is not um, a good option here. So as within this small tolerance, uh, the algorithm does not find any point or line which is like to be getting merged. So even 0 0.5 is not working, 0 0.4, it is working and you see these points are getting matched up and the geometry is now perfect. Yeah. And the last part, whatever you would like to do, um, I make, I explode it again. I use the sewing, sewing, I explode the subshapes. Okay, at first I have to deselect the other object, otherwise um, you have problems while selecting. And I create a new face using these two edges. It told me that it was not possible to create a planar face. So I am fine with that. And now I merge them together. I fuse it. And now we are finished. That's all for today. We will just save it. Um, I named the, f I did some tests previously, of course. Um, I named it now flute representation, <laughs> one eye is missing. And that's how it works in Salome. Please be free to use your software you would like to use, so your preferred software. The end is always the same. You should have like one closed surface which does not has any gaps. And for that you can in Salome use the inspection, check free boundaries. And you see there is no number of free boundaries. You can also make a detect self intersection. And if it's not um, getting any anything out, it is done. Well, well done. What I'm doing at the end is always, you see we worked only with faces. Um, I prefer to create a solid out of this face or it's actually accumulation of faces. And now I have a solid body and I know if this operation creating a solid is working, I have everything closed. This is again some mechanism, some algorithm you can use for checking that everything uh, is at this right place. So that's everything. Part number two done. Well done. Thanks for looking and thanks for spending time watching my videos. I hope uh, you get something out of that. Actually, this was not very interesting, I think, for most of you because I have already a few videos uh, regarding Salome in this uh, former open foam um, screencast series where I created this uh, manifold one, but uh, now with uh, simpler geometry and simpler in the idea of geometry representation. Um, however, it seems not too easy, this geometry. Um, and yeah, if you have anything you want to mention, please make a comment. Thanks for your support. I'm sorry that I'm on the screen now. Uh, if you like it, please uh, let me know. And I would thank you all if you share the work I'm doing in, in the way, in any way you want to do, um, because this is going to get a new training video series really from the beginning up to the end of Open Foam Investigations. Okay. Um, Almost 20 minutes passed. This is like the frame I want to be. The next things we want to do is we create a surface triangulation or we make a surface triangulation of this guy. We created 
um, named regions for representative boundaries. And then, yeah, we are going to mesh it with Snappy Hex Mesh. So take care and keep healthy, guys. Keep foaming. Bye bye. This is Toby. And I need a cold shower because I'm fucking sweating now. Take care.